Hi, my name's Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. In 2017, whilst studying potential emissions from prepared echo fuel, we discovered that there had been some apparent emissions through polyethylene across a distance of an inch to an inch and a half into other polyethylene that left observable traces and blemishes consistent with some observed in the past caused by strange radiation. Over the period 2017 and into 2018, Zhigalov and Parkamov et al. used recordable DVDs and arranged them around a number of Alexander Parkamov reactors and effectively captured strange radiation tracks and characterized them in some detail on SEM microscopes. And also you can see here on the right, it's actually got some depth detail for the tracks made. This really is an inspired innovation because it provides uniformity of the input materials. All of the links to the papers and presentation will be in the description of this video. Now, I was able to find some recordable CDs and not DVDs. We are going to do some looking at this uh, before we run the experiment. And we are going to use the Nerugo microscope here. This is uh, about a $70 piece um, that uh, you can put on your uh, phone. We've used it before in a number of different experiments. And uh, it claims <clears throat> up to 400 times magnification. I have to say that I've tried this with a number of phones and the uh, Sony image sensor in the S7, uh, which has, I think it's a 1.4 micrometer element sensor pitch 12 megapixel camera, is extremely good, whereas other phones that I've tried with this have not been good at all. So it really, the output you get is very dependent on your uh, phone that you are using. Now on the back side it has this light guide which takes the flash from your uh, phone and puts it into a light ring around here and that enables you to get really up close and personal with your subjects. It's not perfect uh, but we're going to have a quick look with this uh, on here to see the kind of surface that uh, we can see. So here you can see the packaging removed and uh, it is one of these kind of I hope it's aluminium. If it is, then it's it's near perfect uh, for what we need. Um, uh, you can see, very clean. Um, so I'm going to have a quick look at uh, this surface for any imperfections using the microscope. You really cannot see much with this. I'm going to zoom in and zoom out. There really isn't much. There's a little bit of dust that I've introduced. But that is about it. So the Nerugu microscope did not show us anything of any use. It showed no blemishes at all. So what we did is we put it on a different type of optical microscope to have a look. This is an etched part of the inner ring. This is a metallized piece of writing on the inner ring. And this is the iridescent main writing surface of the recordable CD. The CD itself is probably a perfect thing for detecting strange radiation because uh, strange radiation doesn't appear to want to go through changes in impedance. So when you have something traveling through the air and it hits this plastic and then it's got the metallized surface and in the case of aluminium it's the fourth most conductive element so you have an extreme change between the polycarbonate and the aluminium and this potentially is where the strange radiation is trapped and it travels along the surface as a result. So thank you very much for your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.